Hello. Uh, this video that I'm doing today um, is actually on um, a bricked phone. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and restart the phone into recovery. Um, if you can see, it's working just fine. Um, but I'm actually going to brick it for the purpose of this uh, video. I actually bricked it a couple of weeks ago. Um, what they would consider to be bricked. Bricked is when you can't turn it on um, no matter what combination of buttons you do and it's stuck on the loop. Um, if it's stuck on a loop they usually call that a soft brick but when you can't turn it on no matter what they usually will call that um, bricking the phone. So ultimately what I wanted to do was I wanted to, um, so I'm going to wipe it just because I want to do everything that I did. So I was installing an update. Right now I currently have the Nuisance um, 6 ROM with a 4.4.2 and Sense 6 um, on it. And I, they, they came out with an update that was the 4.4.4. So I went to um, find it online and when I went to find it online, um, I got it and wanted to see if it would work. So. Card download. Um, okay, so it's on my extension SD card, and you see it says Nuisance 6 KitKat T6 RC 4.7062414 Deoxed. Uh, Brick, and I have bricked because I wanted it to know that this was the one that bricked um, my phone. I don't know if you can actually see that clearly. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to swipe, which I swipe to flash. And it's installing. Okay, so it says that it's successful and it's going to allow us to reboot the system. So, let's come back some so you can see more of the phone. So it's booting. And the black screen of death. The phone is bricked. Um, it's not going to do anything. You press the power key. Um, the power key doesn't do anything. So if you try to boot into recovery, It's not going to do anything. See me holding both buttons down because it won't power on. The only way you can boot into recovery um, with the volume down and the power button is if your phone power cycle is working. So it's not, but you can still hard reset. So I'm going to press the power and the volume up keys. And then you're going to get that HTC splash screen again. Now you go, okay, well, what can I do? You pray, you hope that after this loop, it'll come back on. But no such luck. 
you got the black screen. Now the thing about it is, if you start pressing the home and the volume, the power and the volume up key from this point, you have 12 seconds before the HTC splash screen comes back up. If you press the volume down key, if you switch from the volume up to the volume down key, your phone will go into your bootloader. And then from there, you'll be able to go into your recovery and you'll be able to recover your phone with a backup or even a fresh uh, zip file if you have it. So I'm going to press this and I'm going to count to 11 and then I'm going to push the volume key, uh, switch the volume keys. So I got one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven. And boom. There's your bootloader. So your phone is bricked in a sense that you have no operating system on your phone. It will not power cycle, but you still have your hard reset um, available to you. And because you still have your hard reset, your recovery is still there. So I scroll down to recovery, and it's cycling. It says entering recovery there. And I could actually restore my phone. A lot of people don't know that with that... Um, that power cycle, you know, that you actually have. Um, so now I am restoring my phone. If you look here, get the glare off. Restoring system. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is that they can actually, um, the phone is bricked. I mean, by all intents and purposes, it's bricked. It seems like it wasn't because I just did something really simple, but. The power button doesn't work. Your operating system is gone. If you don't have a backup, um, you're going to have to put it on your SD card and uh, do the count. But if you don't know to do the count, there's nothing you can do to fix your phone. So you can actually, once you can get into the bootloader, you can fix things through ADB and push um, through your commands. Um, so, there, so you could actually fix your phone, but a lot of people don't know um, if you have a splash screen, you can get into your bootloader. Um, so the phone is bricked, but it's not unfixable, and you don't have to do a rule and all of that extra stuff that um, I found myself getting ready to do before I realized that, oh my goodness, I have a splash screen. That must mean I can maybe get into my bootloader. So I just counted and saw how long it took for the splash screen to come up once I pressed the home and the power up the, on the volume up button. And um, it was 12 seconds. So I said, if I can catch it that one second right before the splash screen comes up, I think I can go into my bootloader. And lo and behold, I did. I went into my bootloader and I was able to restore um, my phone. So, um, I just, I was grateful because I tried to update a ROM that previously worked on my phone and um, because this is the uh, 4.7.0 version, like I said, it's, it's uh, KitKat 4.4.4 and what I had on there is the 3.0 version which was KitKat 4.4.2 and um, as a result, it bricked my phone. It took the operating system off it. Well, I mean, it had one, but it was the wrong one, so it didn't work on my phone. It didn't tell it to boot. Didn't tell it to do anything, and so I was stuck. And it, I believe that same system um, can work if you're stuck on a boot loop, uh, boot loop. I don't. I didn't have anything um, that I did to my phone that made me get stuck on a boot loop, so I couldn't create that for this video. But I believe if your phone is stuck on a boot loop and you do the hard reset, the same thing. Before, when that screen goes black, once it's because it's on a boot loop, it's going to stay on the bootloader. Or just even if it's just stuck on the um, boot screen, 
you hit that home screen. As soon as it goes black, you press that uh, volume down button, and you should be able to go into your bootloader, which will allow you to um, go into your recovery. So I know there's not a whole lot of videos out there for the Sprint version of the HTC One Max, and um, I was just hoping that my problem could be somebody else's solution. Okay, so um, the restore was uh, successful. All right, and I just rebooted the system, and here's my splash screen. There's the sound that lets you know it's coming on. All right, so there's my phone. It's back in working order. It was just um, bricked a few minutes ago, but I was able to cycle into the um, bootloader and um, get it all back to working order. So I hope that this video helps someone. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.